All right, what I want to do here is now teach you how to use patterns efficiently. Now, patterns probably should have been covered way back when, right? Well, I was kind of saving patterns for a workflow that was a little higher end, and that's why I haven't covered them yet. So I'm going to make a document here, and I'm going to choose like 8.5 by 11 by 100 dots per inch. And I'm only doing 100 dots per inch is because uh, it lags when I do stuff like this. Okay, so here's how patterns work. What I want to do is make a new document that is pixels. And I'm going to do a 30 pixel by 30 pixel. One resolution. It's going to be this really small thing, okay? So I'm going to take my brush. And if you're following along with the video from in succinction, I can take and now use my tools if I wanted to. And I'm going to draw out a pattern, uh, something real simple. Okay, so I'm just making lines that are kind of in some kind of pattern. Okay, now I'm going to go Filter, Other, Offset. And I'm going to zero these out and just do them one at a time. So first, I'm going to work on vertical. So I'm going to move it a little bit. And I'm only going to draw here in the center for every time I do that. So here. Just like that. And then I'm going to go Filter, other offset. I'm going to zero this one out and then I'm going to start working this way. Remember only work in the center. And keep these lines about the same width. Now the other one I'm going to have to move in a little bit of X and Y. So I need this blank spot right here. Just like that. So that's going to be my pattern. And I'm just going to take and go edit, define pattern. And I'll just keep it pattern three. So what happens here is I'm going to take and fill this square. And I'm going to make this pretty small because that way it's fast when I'm doing it. And I'm going to fill it with that pattern using the pattern fill tool. Pattern. Here's that pattern. Okay. So you get something like this. Now, I want to make sure that's on a new layer, however. Let's see if I got my layers here. Yep. Just make sure that's on a new layer. There we go. So now I got this. And what I want to do is hold Command, click over the top of it, go to my brushes, and I'm going to use some of these brushes that I made, these tools that I made earlier, and I'm going to use light black now keep in mind this is an 8-bit document so these things are going to be a little bit darker so you might want to put them on a new layer and what I'm doing is just streaking across here very quickly and then I'm going to go to light white. And back to light black. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
And what I'm doing is trying to stay away from angles at this point. Well, I'm trying to darken in the outside edges. There we go. So that looks like cloth, right? Very easy. Now, what you can do here is take your pattern and blur it. And I want to hold command over the top of it first. Go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to blur this to the point where it starts to look like fabric. And this one I'm going to just tone down a little bit. Maybe right about there. All right, now I'm going to go edit, copy, merged, and then edit, paste, and then hide my other two layers. Now, keep in mind, you can use a lot of this with uh, the transform warp. So I can warp this along and I can make some really cool type of fabric that's kind of blowing a little bit if I wanted to. Maybe something a little bit more dynamic where it's blowing that way. And I can use this liquify tool to kind of pull out. Now be very careful with this tool. Don't use it too much because what will happen is it will ruin your texture that you put in there. And there we go. Some dynamic fabric using patterns. Keep in mind, patterns are very, very powerful for a texture artist because, you know, you can create some a lot of effects with textures, uh, steel, um, rust, anything that you can think of. But you got to understand that the pattern repeats and too much repeating on the pattern will lead to a, a moray pattern that people are going to be like, wow, that's just a pattern in Photoshop. But you got to vary it up a little bit. You know, in, in this case, is a perfect new curtain. You know, in some cases, I would go in here and maybe make some lines or some uh, areas of texture where it might be stained. I could do that. But I wanted to share with you that things aren't so scary here in Photoshop especially in the eyes of a concept artist, you know, you just got to hop around and know your tools. All right. Enjoy. Please move on to the next video.